Thank you. Hi, it's wonderful to see you. I appreciate you taking the time to meet with me again this week. I've been doing a lot of reading and studying over the past few weeks. I want to share with you some insights and ideas about simple ways we can keep our relationships fun, relaxed, and sexy. I've been studying a fascinating book, Beyond Mars and Venus, Relationship Skills for Today's Complex World by Dr. John Gray, published in January 2017. You've probably heard of the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, which came out about 20 years ago. The main concept that Dr. Gray focuses on is that no matter how much we evolve in the workplace and in our relationships, men and women are biologically different and that affects how we feel and behave. There are a group of characteristics that are considered to be inherently male and a complementary but opposite group that are considered female. However, research has found that these traits are not gender specific only because they are traditionally expressed by that gender. The traits designated as male also cause a rise in the production of testosterone and the female characteristics induce estrogen production. Those characteristics deemed male include independent, detached, problem solver, tough, competitive, analytical, powerful, assertive, competent, confident, accountable, and goal-oriented. People of both genders demonstrate all of these traits sometimes, and expressing these male qualities, which produce testosterone, may feel equally good to men and women. But when we are stressed, these characteristic behaviors will lower a man's internal stress reactions, but not a woman's. It takes the expression of female qualities, which produce female hormones, to lower her stress. These complementary female qualities include interdependent, emotional, nurturer, vulnerable, cooperative, intuitive, loving, receptive, virtuous, trusting, responsive, and relationship-oriented. Trusting a partner to support you, depending on others, emotional expression and nurturing activities all stimulate estrogen. Again, these things may feel equally good to men and women, but when we are stressed, they will lower a woman's internal stress reactions, but not a man's, because it takes testosterone to lower a man's stress levels. When a man experiences any of the symptoms of internal stress like anger, loss of sexual interest for his partner, dissatisfaction, or boredom, it is usually because he's temporarily too far on his female side. He's feeling too much, and so his testosterone is dropped and his estrogen is too high. Learning to focus on activities that increase his testosterone and decrease his estrogen will lower his internal stress. Testosterone and its balance with estrogen directly affects a man's ability to experience wisdom, compassion, and unconditional love, along with lasting vitality, virility, and health. Testosterone replacement for men is in the news a lot today because healthy testosterone levels have been linked to a man's youthfulness, health, weight loss, energy, focus, memory, mood, strength, and libido. When a man is stressed, tired, or even depressed, it's generally because his testosterone levels are too low. If his estrogen is too high, he will be more emotional and prone to feelings of anger, defensiveness, and aggression. The problem with testosterone replacement through supplements 
is that supplements will cause a man's body to discontinue making testosterone rather than increase its production. The best way to increase testosterone production is through masculine activities that engage and express the masculine qualities I've mentioned. For example, driving a car on a long trip, making decisions and solving problems, working on projects, providing selfless service and making a difference, learning and developing skills, making money, taking risks, facing challenges with confidence, physical exercise, physical intimacy and romance, listening, researching, joking, and enjoying the company of other men. Men and women require distinctly different mixtures of hormones to be stress-free, happy, and fulfilled. When a man can sustain higher testosterone and a woman higher estrogen levels, these differences create the attraction that can sustain passion. When a man is expressing his masculine qualities, he will be most attractive to a woman who is expressing her female qualities. His male side and her female side are opposite poles and will attract each other. This deeper understanding of how to use our behavior to affect our hormones provides the foundation to keep the passion alive and create a successful relationship. This may sound rude or unfair to men, but research tells us that the best way to support our partner and raise both our required hormone levels to feel happier and less stressed is when a woman talks about her feelings and a man listens to her. In my video, How to Attract a Woman with Integrity, I introduced you to the ATTUNE method for a conversation. You may remember that ATTUNE is an acronym that stands for Attend, Turn Toward, Understand, Non-Defensively Listen, and Empathize. In the Mars and Venus methodology, Dr. Gray calls this the Venus Talk. He adds that the woman should spend no more than eight minutes describing her negative feelings about what happened to her that day. She should then spend two minutes on her positive thoughts and feelings. At that point, the man should say something empathetic, such as, It sounds like you did the best you could under the circumstances. Let me give you a hug. Then share a three to six second hug, and the conversation is over. At no time during this talk should the woman say anything about her partner. She should only focus on her day and her feelings. That way, the man can easily listen, attempt to understand, and empathize without feeling defensive or as if he needs to fix something for her. This Venus talk, a tuning conversation, will serve the purpose of raising the woman's estrogen levels, give her a boost of oxytocin, and help her transition from her work or boss mode into her at-home me time. Once the 10-minute Venus talk ends, both partners should take about 30 minutes alone. For him, this is cave time, where he can relax, process the day, and find balance. For her, this is her me time, where she can practice self-care, release stress or resentment, and find her own balance. When a couple comes back together after this time alone, they'll be refreshed and ready to enjoy their relationship, feeling renewed attraction for one another. When a couple makes a habit of having this brief conversation every day, the woman anticipates that her husband or partner will be interested in hearing her day's frustrations, disappointments, and concerns and her oxytocin and estrogen levels will be high even before she gets home. Let's practice this together with some role playing. Imagine that I'm your wife or girlfriend and we've both just come home from work after a typical day. Let's say you got home first, so you greet me at the door with a smile and a kiss and say, let's sit down and you can tell me about your day. We sit so that we're facing each other. Our cell phones are put away. It's quiet in the house. There's no distractions. I tell you that traffic was bad because of construction, and I'm frustrated that the commute takes so long. 
You nod in agreement. I tell you that I had a nice networking meeting and lunch with a new client, and that makes me feel hopeful and confident that I will meet my goals this month. You smile and nod with appreciation. Then I tell you I made a doctor's appointment for a checkup, and I feel proud of myself for getting started on my plan to improve my health. You say, that's great, honey, good for you, and you give me a hug. Then we both get up and spend 30 minutes alone. After that, we put dinner together and make plans for a movie date this weekend. If you live with a woman, throughout the coming week, I want you to visualize having this type of Venus talk conversation with your wife or partner. I hope you'll present this idea to the woman in your life and give it a try. If the research holds true, you should both feel more relaxed and more attracted to each other when you practice this simple conversation method. I'll be presenting further ideas from the book Beyond Mars and Venus in future videos, but if you would like more information, I recommend reading the book and visiting Dr. Gray's website at marsvenus.com. If you'd like to to give me a wonderfully supportive virtual hug, please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And please take a moment to subscribe. I'll be uploading at least one video each week with occasional bonus videos. Post your comments below and let me know what you want to talk about in upcoming videos. I appreciate your questions and comments. They're important to me. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. Joe, can we freshen this up? The softer side.